iPhone 12 rumors are heating up with some fresh new mock-ups and we count down our wish list for the brand new iPhone. Let's get started on this week's show. But the biggest news of all, this week... I'm back! Yay! <laughs> it's been a minute, but hey, I left you with this amazing host, so come on, you can't complain. Lexi, thank you, thank you, thank you, and yeah, what'd I miss? Oh, you know, nothing major. You know, iPhone 11, 11 Pro, AirPods Pro, Apple Watch Series 5. Uh, yeah, and a whole lot of rumors. So let's get right to the core of this week's and the last four months worth of <laughs> Apple news and rumors. Okay, Vanessa, first things first, iPhone 12 rumors. I know you're across a lot of these, but just to refresh your memory, here are my top six. First one, we may not get just two, but four new iPhone 12 models, all with 5G. So there will likely be a 5.4 inch, two 6.1 inch models and a 6.7 inch version. So those first two, the 5.4 and 6.1 inch, will probably just be supporting sub six gigahertz spectrum, while the other two may also add millimeter wave support. Rumor number two, those higher end phones with the millimeter wave, so let's call them like the Pro line, maybe that makes more sense to call them iPhone 12 Pro, may also add a time of flight camera to capture depth information and for augmented reality. Surprised yet? Not really. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Number three. An all new design that throws back to the iPhone 4 with those squared edges and that slightly retro feel. So this week, Japanese site Mako Takara shared some mock-ups of what the new phone might look like. Except this one throws a bit of a spanner in the works of those size rumors that I mentioned earlier, as these mocks in the video you can see are of a 5.3 inch and a 5.9 inch phone. And you ready for another surprise? Another report claims the iPhone 12 will look the same as the iPhone 11. And trust me, I have opinions wait, about wait, this. Wait, 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 what? Yeah, that's uh, a lot of people have some thoughts about this, which I talked about a few weeks ago on the show, and you can find that video in the description below. All right, keep going. All right, number four. The hottest color of 2020 is apparently phantom blue. So quite fittingly, the iPhone 12 may come in a navy blue finish rather than midnight green. Okay. Like that. Number five, Touch ID under the screen is still uncertain for 2020. So we do know that Qualcomm has a new ultrasonic sensor that lets you use not just one, but two fingers for authentication. But we have no clear idea yet of whether the iPhone 12 will get this or we'll have to wait until 2021. And finally, number six, sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but it's looking likely that the notch isn't going anywhere. All right, come on. I leave for four months and it sounds like the rumors about the iPhone 12 have gotten worse. I was hoping for a bigger change up in 2020. Right, so on that note, why don't you tell me what you really want on the iPhone 12? Mm. Well, since you asked, I'm gonna start with my shoot for the stars wish list, cause why not? And I guess it would have to be long range wireless charging and a foldable iPhone, cause I'm curious to see what that would look like. But that's not gonna happen, I know. So, all right, more realistically, I would want all screen displays, or at least like a punch hole display, like the Note 10, come on. USB-C maybe, but what I really want from the Note 10 is that reverse wireless charging. Ooh, love that, that would be such a good addition. Just charge your other Apple devices, why not? I was also really hoping for an in-screen fingerprint scanner. Not that I don't love Face ID. I know the haters are gonna come up and defend Face ID. No, I, I like Face ID, but I just, I would like to have the option, you know? Yeah. Um, and then the other one that I want because, hey, I take a lot of videos of babies and dogs, uh, <laughs> is portrait mode video on the iPhone. It's something that the Note introduced. Didn't love it, but I'm waiting to see Apple try and do something similar. Um, and then, yeah, maybe just to limit the camera bump, because I'm always worried about mm. damaging that too. But my number one, and this one's kind of cliche, would have to be better battery life. Yeah, but it's something that everyone needs. Like, right? you can't deny it. So this is actually kind of fun, because I have my own list. I'm totally with you on battery life. That is my number one. Very unsexy, but it's incredibly necessary. Reverse wireless charging, yes, so you can juice up the Apple Watch and AirPods. That would be really nice, as you mentioned. 
While we're at it, I would love a 90 hertz screen. That would be amazing because every time I'm using an Android phone that has a high refresh rate screen, it, especially while I'm playing games, it just looks so nice. I would love to see that on the iPhone. And finally, last thing on my list, again, not sexy, but something I know everybody will love, a price reduction. Now, that should be your shoot for the stars wish list, Lexi, yeah, come on now. It really will be. Now, this seems highly unlikely, I know. But considering the base storage of the iPhone 11 Pro is 64 gigabytes and it starts at $1,000 in the US and even more in other countries around the world, you're going to burn through that storage pretty quickly. I know I have. So Apple, please reduce the cost of iCloud storage or bump up the free tier from five to at least 10 or 15 gigabytes. Or here's a wild suggestion. Make the base iPhone 12 Pro model 128 gigabytes for the same price. You know, that 4K video ain't gonna compress itself. Yes, I am totally with you, but come on. This is all about us. What do you guys want to see in the iPhone 12? Let us know on the comment section below because hey, you never know who might be watching this video. Wishful thinking, right? Right, wink. maybe, wink. <laughs> So now let's take a look at the other headlines dominating the Apple universe. First up, Samsung's Galaxy Buds Plus were leaked thanks to a new iOS app that appeared in the App Store this week. Oops, this ahead of their launch event next week. Now this is not huge news considering that the original Galaxy Buds were already compatible with the iPhone through Bluetooth, but the existence of an app means that you will be able to go and tweak the settings in the new Galaxy Buds Plus, giving the AirPods a little bit more competition. This week, Apple also received a new patent for a foldable device that prevents the screen from getting creases or damage when it's opened and closed. Uh -huh. Galaxy Fold, anybody? So maybe my shoot for the stars wish list was not so far off after all. The truth is, Apple will have to play catch up in this round though, because Motorola just launched its new take on the Razer, which folds as well, and it's pretty adorable. That's a wrap for this week, but before we leave, I'd like to give a huge, huge thank you to Lexi for holding down the fort and keeping the show going while I was gone in babyland. Honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better partner in crime, and I'm hoping you'll still join us once in a while, Lexi. I would love to. Thank you for having me on your screens. It's been a pleasure. Also, uh, FYI, she's on a whole bunch of other shows, so please check them out on our YouTube channel and come back next week for more Apple Core.